Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how India's trusted PSLV rocket suffered rare back-to-back -back failures, triggering the loss of crucial strategic satellites and raising urgent questions about mission reliability, transparency, and the risks facing India's national security space ambitions today. In an unprecedented occurrence, India's workhorse spacefaring rocket, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, has faced repeat failures, PSLV C61 on 18th May 2025 and PSLV C62 on 12th of January 2026. In both instances, the Indian Space Research Organization lost multi-million dollar satellites meant to serve national security purposes. Over its 33-year operational history, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle has flown 64 missions, of which it has suffered four major failures, including the latest two. Notably, both the 2025 failure and the January 2026 failure were mid-flight anomalies linked to the rocket's third stage of its four-stage configuration. Delivering a televised statement from the spaceport on 12th of January, Indian Space Research Organization Chairman Dr. V. Narayanan said, We attempted the PSLV C-62 mission. The Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle is a four-stage rocket. The vehicle performance up to almost the end of the third stage was as expected. By the end of the third stage, we observed a disturbance in the vehicle and a deviation in the flight path. We are analyzing the data and will return with findings at the earliest. Following the May 2025 launch failure, Dr. Narenan had stated that performance up to the second stage was normal and that the third stage had ignited, but an anomaly was observed in its functioning, preventing mission success. He added that the third stage uses a solid fuel motor system and that a drop in chamber pressure was detected, prompting a detailed performance review. The PSLV C-62 mission marked the vehicle's return to flight after the rare setback in May 2025 and was also the Indian Space Research Organization's first launch of 2026. After the May failure, the rocket had effectively been grounded. On 17 May 2025, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle suffered a mid-flight failure due to a third-stage malfunction, leading to the loss of the rocket and the EOS-09 radar imaging satellite. EOS-09 was a critical asset designed to enhance India's day and night all-weather space-based surveillance capabilities. The primary payload of the PSLV C-62 mission was EOS-N1, also known as Anvesha, an Earth observation satellite built by the Defence Research and Development Organisation of India. The satellite was intended to be placed in orbit at an altitude of 511 kilometers. EOS-N1 is a hyperspectral imaging satellite, capable of observing far more detail than the human eye or conventional optical satellites. As sunlight illuminates the Earth's surface, different materials reflect light across various wavelengths. A hyperspectral sensor captures these reflections, classifies them, and helps identify the composition of materials. This technology has significant civilian and strategic applications. It can be used to assess water quality, soil composition, and crop health, while also enabling the detection of military targets concealed under camouflage. In addition to EOSN-1, the PSLV C-62 mission carried 15 co-passenger satellites. Seven were from India, two from Europe, five from Brazil, and one from Nepal. Many of these satellites were developed by academic institutions and startups to demonstrate experimental technologies in space. As a taxpayer-funded civilian space agency founded on the principle of public service, the Indian Space Research Organization has traditionally made public the findings of its failure analysis committees. These reports are typically prepared by internal experts within a few months of a mission failure. However, the Failure Analysis Committee report related to the May 2025 PSLV C61 failure has not yet been released publicly. Similarly, the report concerning the failure of the NVS-02 strategic satellite in January 2025 remains unavailable to the public. 
This has been widely viewed as a departure from established organizational practice, although both reports are understood to have been submitted to the Government of India. Given the Indian Space Research Organization's role in launching satellites for foreign governments and private entities, public disclosure of failure analysis findings is critical for maintaining transparency and restoring confidence. It is significant that both the PSLV C-61 and PSLV C-62 missions failed due to malfunctions in the third stage, raising concerns about quality control and long-term reliability. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.